Bon. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. do for you I'm okay thanks Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
47th floor. I need your help.
Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. What the hell are you doing? We're, um, doing maintenance. I'm calling security. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've got to move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this.
about killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy. You must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand? What are you doing? record our message. We haven't got much time. Carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species, and each android as a person in their own right. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. 
This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon! Now! He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we've got to go. I'm sorry. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Thank <laughs> you.